नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू प्लेनेट टू सोल एस्ट्रोलॉजी सो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट रेट्रोग्रेशन ऑफ प्लेनेट्स दैट इज वक्री ग्रह देर आर डिफरेंट ओपिनियंस एंड डिफरेंस ऑफ ओपिनियंस रिगार्डिंग रेट्रोग्रेशन ऑफ प्लेनेट्स पीपल आर वेरी अफ्रेड ऑफ रेट्रोग्रेड प्लेनेट्स बिकॉज इन अवर क्लासिक्स many different views are written about this retrograde planet some classics say uh, like uh, parashari niyam uh, parashari says something different saravali says uh, something different and uh, uttar kalamrut says something different as per uttar kalamrut it is said that if a planet is uh, benefic and becoming vakri it will give very adverse fruit and if a vakri planet or a retrograde planet if it is a malefic planet it will give very good fruit same way if a planet is exalted it will give a uh, fruit of debilitated planet and vice versa if debilitated planet is retrograde then it will give fruits of exalted planet this is as per uttar kalamrut as per saravali uh, written by uh, shri kalyan verma ji they, he says that any benefic planet if becoming retrograde will give benefic results and malefic planet if becoming retrograde will give malefic fruits as per parashar rushi as per bphs same thing is written but few more things and concept has uh, been very clear amongst us and uh, we have to follow it and as per the experience also as per bphs or as per parashari parashar rushi says that if any planet whether it is malefic or it is benefic when it is becoming retrograde it is going to give fruits uh that may be good or that may be bad but along with malefic and benefic condition of that planet you have to see the bhavesh that means whether that planet is sitting in karak bhava whether that planet is a yog karaka planet for particular lagna and if it is becoming vakri or it if it is becoming retrograde then it will give you very good fruits say for example in aquarius ascendant venus is becoming yog karaka planet if venus is retrograde in one's chart it will deteriorate the bad fruits to the native it will give good fruits to the native same way in other uh ascendant say for example in uh, uh, taurus lagna in taurus ascendant if jupiter is retrograde so jupiter is a lord of 6 uh, 8th house and jupiter is a lord of 11th house for taurus people so this is not yog karaka planet this is, this is not functional benefic planet i mean to say so this jupiter will not fructify good to the native as per bphs we have to and uh, as per experience also if we really follow the rules given by these rishis this really works a lot and same way also about benefic and malefic planet if they become retrograde but if they are not functional benefic they will not give you good fruits if they are functional malefic they will give you bad fruits now say for example uh, if in anybody's chart when jupiter is becoming retrograde no matter where it is we have seen that it creates hurdles in progeny in child birth many people are getting hurdles for child birth or even people are getting some um, disturbance in education also 
so these fruits are seen amongst the people so now while discussing retrogression of planets we must understand first that what is retrogression we all know that all planets are rotating around their own axis all the planets see except rahu and ketu because they are always retrograde so we are not considering them sun and moon are always in motion so they never become retrograde so remaining five planets that is saturn jupiter mars mercury and venus they are becoming retrograde again i am adding here more three planets which is uh, out of the uh, bhaumadik graha which we call it as which are away from the earth very uh, distance away from the earth which are uranus neptune and pluto these three planets also become retrograde so how they become retrograde actually uh, in uh, astronomical terms or astronomically they actually don't become retro they appears to be uh, become retro or there is a illusion that such planets look like a retro planets see now the sun is there so all planets are rotating around the sun within their own axis right so below the sun and between the earth mercury and venus are placed so mercury venus and moon moon is rotating around the earth and earth and moon mercury and venus together are rotating around the sun in their own axis so when this mercury and venus because it is between the sun and earth because moon is rotating around the earth but when this mercury and venus goes near to earth so magnetic uh power or magnetic rays become so powerful that for us people it assume or it appears like they are going retrogression because they are coming near to the earth when they are rotating same way the planets above the sun and between the axis of nakshatras that is between the axis of stars when these three planets which is mars jupiter and saturn when they come near it appears to be in retrograde mode now when they become retrograde so in particular degrees when they come near to sun they become retrograde going ahead these all plan planets remain in retrograde uh, position for certain days between this they also become stationary before going into retrograde mode when we are turning around if i am walking ahead and suddenly i want to go back i have to take a pause and then i will go back that is called that pause that pause movement is called as stationary movement or stambhi and then again motion starts but that motion starts in reverse position so we say that this person is going in reverse position but in actual in the akash mandal these planets are not going retrograde it appears to be going into the retrograde movement there are different types of motions mentioned in our 
classics. They are uh, uh, say Margi, then uh, Ati Chari, then Mand, then Mand Tara, then again uh, Ati Vakri or you can say uh, Stambhi. See many words are given for or many uh, steps are given for the planets when they become in motion, when they become in uh, uh, retrogression, when they are in stationary position and we, when they are in kutil gati also. Kutil, kutil means forcefully they are fighting uh, uh, between uh, other planets and they are trying to go ahead of another planet. That is kutil means very uh, sharp mindedly these planets are uh, pretending to go ahead. I will tell you in very easy terms, whenever any planets are second or third to the sun in our chart, they are always in proper motion that is they are always margi. When they go in fourth house from sun, that time they are in mandagati means slow motion they are. When they go in fifth and sixth from sun, they start becoming in retrograde position. So, in your chart, whenever any planet is fifth, sixth and seventh to any uh, to Surya, to Sun, it is in retrograde position. See, Mercury cannot go away 28 degrees from Sun, always there is a distance of 28 degrees. Mercury cannot go beyond this degrees from Sun. Same way, Venus cannot go beyond 48 degrees from the Sun. That is why we always see in most of the charts there is Mercury and Sun together in the chart and Venus is either back of behind of uh, Sun and Mercury or ahead of Sun and Mercury or Mercury and Venus are together and behind is the Sun or ahead is the Sun but they cannot go more than two houses ahead of uh, self, mostly one house ahead we see always Mercury, Venus and Sun is placed. They resemble to be Vakri. So, whenever planets are in retrogression mode, they do not become combust. Combust is again a different concept. So, when planets are in retrogression, they are not a combust planet. Now, as per the experiences, whenever any planet becomes retrograde in your chart, as I said, as per BPHS rule, if it is yoga karak planet in your chart, it will definitely give you very good fruits. If it is a functional malefic planet also, but if this retro planet is in friend sign in your chart, it will definitely give you very good fruits. Many charts we have seen that even though whenever retrogression uh, takes place in the present transit and if in their charts already retrograde benefic planets are there that time especially I am talking about Jupiter, that time really this Jupiter favors the native a lot in terms of financial growth, in terms of wealth also and in terms of children's bliss also. So, it is not necessary that when planet is becoming retrograde, it will give very bad fruits. No, it is not so. Even for Venus, I will tell the same thing. If Venus is functional benefic in your chart and if it is placed in uh, Shubha Rashi, 
in a friendly sign it will definitely give you good fruits if it is aspected by uh, uh, mel, uh, benefic jupiter also even though it is uh, retrograde position then also it will give very good fruits to the native now planet like mars saturn they are uh, by nature papa planet or you can say they are krur grahas so whenever they become in retrograde position if these planets are also functional benefic in your chart they will definitely give you good fruits in certain retrogression uh, period in your chart if retrograde saturn is there and in uh, transit also if retrogression of saturn is taking place and if it is a benefic planet for you it will give you very good fruits now in what sense it will give you fruits so it will give you fruits as per the characteristics or as per the significance of that particular house say for example if my saturn is in third house in retrograde position and in third uh, and uh, present transit saturn is also into retrogression position now it is in sagittarius okay so this saturn will give me courage to do more and more struggles in retrogression period particularly see whenever in your chart retrogression planets are there these planets become maximum powerful to give you results in its retrogression period otherwise also they are giving you fruits but we say that special fruits or we say that special period of our life so when these planets are becoming retrograde in transit also over your retrograde planets or no matter over your uh, no matter they are uh, transiting over your uh, retrograde planets but if in your chart they are in retrogression position say at present certain planets are in retrogression position like jupiter like saturn so they will definitely give you good fruits as per the benefic planet so this concept should be clear within you all so you should not get afraid of this retrogression yeah definitely in certain field it will not give you blissful fruits i will not say that it will definitely give you bad fruits but it will reduce the uh, fruit giving capacity say for example in your chart if your seventh lord which is a house of your spouse which is a lord of your spouse or your partner if it is becoming retrograde anywhere in your chart definitely it may reduce the marital bliss or it may reduce the good connection between you and your spouse that doesn't mean that uh, you are going to leave your spouse there may be some uh, uh, you know difference of opinion between you both or many a times we see that late marriages are happening in certain cases but in certain cases i have seen that even though jupiter is retrograde in the chart and saturn is also retrograde many a times these people go for very early marriages they get marry very fast because retrogression uh, in and uh, these people are getting married when these planets are retrograde in the transit also at birth also they are having retrograde and in transit also when retrogression takes place these people get married very soon in their life and many a times when particular planets are becoming retrograde certain uh, people are experiencing very uh, low results or very uh, bad fruits also health wise also many a times Uh, status wise they have to uh, face certain uh, social stigmas many a times we see that so but in that case we have to see you should not blame this retrograde planet in fact you should see that how is the sun position in your chart and how this sun is getting affected or how this retrograde planet is getting affected due to your 
original natal sun and also the transit sun. So, we should know that how to uh, judge particular planet even though in retrogression or in uh, motion position how to judge a planet. Immediately we should not jump to the conclusion that no, no you are not going to get the best fruit. So, it is very simple logic that how this retrogression takes place. Uh, in many books it is written that when uh, we are in a motion position, so if I am in a vehicle and I am uh, driving somewhere and when I see outside of my window another vehicles are also uh, in a motion that time within a fraction of second we see that our car is stopped and other vehicles are in a motion or when other vehicles are also stopped. we we uh, and uh, uh, sorry when other vehicles are in motion and our car is stopped that time we feel that our car is also moving but it is not so or we uh, we, uh, we assume or we uh, it appears that our car is going in backward position you know many a times when very fast uh, moving vehicles go uh, near to us go near from our vehicle we think that our vehicle is going in backward position, but it is not so, it is a appearance. At that moment, when you uh, see that oh you, my car is going in backward position, you get afraid, oh I am going to uh, fall down or something whatever. Immediately uh, you are afraid, uh, you get afraid or fear comes in your mind. Same way fear about retrogression planets is there, but actually we have to face the overpowering motion of planets within the axis of their own and within the axis of sun and we have to suffer and we have to enjoy the fruits accordingly. So, we should not and one should not get afraid of any retrograde planets. See definitely it is going to give you uh, small small uh, things and uh, it will make you aware that yes I am in retrograde position. Many a times whenever uh, mercury is in a, a retrograde in your chart and in transit also when retrogression takes place. You see that people forget things very soon or somebody has called them, but uh, they forget immediately they get some ear problems if Ketu is also connected with uh, that or even in your chart you have any retrograde planet particularly in uh, Pisces if Mercury is retrograde, we immediately say that. Uh, no, you are not going to study or uh, this uh, person has very less education. No, it is not so. I have seen hundreds of charts where this mercury is retrograde in Pisces sign and these people are highly educated. They are PhD and MPhil people, but they are lacking in simple social dictas or simple social rituals or simple social behavior they are lacking in vehavar knowledge vehavar gyan jisko hum bolte they are lacking in that they know uh, all the bookish knowledge they know all the uh, technical terms or they know all the technicality but when the time comes for the relations when the time comes for social get together they are away or they are not able to express themselves. Same way you can take each significance of planet which are retrograde and you will feel the same thing for these uh, uh, planets. If your Jupiter is retro in your chart, many a times you find difficulty in getting along with the elderly people or you may have some clashes with your Guru Tulya people, with your mentor, with your teachers immediately you may give uh, back answers to them many a times. If Saturn is retrograde in your chart even though you are starting with so much energy, but you are not able to give your full strength to that task. 
same way with mars also if mars is retrograde in your chart your energy is div diverting towards the false things or unnecessary things and the main motto is remaining as it is definitely you are going to achieve the motto but it will take more time than the normal time okay so now i will tell you that in what degrees if one has to note down in what degrees these planets become retrograde from the sun many uh, have this question in mind that how many times uh, how many time this uh, planet is becoming retrograde or how many days this become stationary and uh, how they become and when they become in a motion mode so in short i will say that we will take each planet i will just explain you uh, in uh, simple language see whenever saturn is becoming retrograde that time this saturn becomes retrograde for 140 days from start to end i am talking whenever this saturn is becoming retrograde uh, within 2 and 1/2 years because each planet this uh, saturn is Two and half years in each Rashi, total seven and half years it takes to uh, uh, take uh, rotation in three Rashis when Sade Sade Sati begins that time also, and in each Rashi it remains for two and half years. Okay, so in these years this becomes retrograde for one forty days. Now this planet becomes in stationary mode for five days. saturn becomes stambhi for around 5 days so many a times we say that when the planet is in uh, uh, stationary mode uh, it gives very good fruits no it is not so when the planet is in stationary mode it may stop you from certain task it may stop you from going ahead it may stop you from your growth because that time that planet is in stagnant position because that planet is not able to move and unless and until this planet is aspected by benefic planet you will not feel anything good about it this is for all planets all stationary time whatever time one day two day five days they are not considered good this period so now we were talking about saturn so saturn becomes retrograde when it is 251 degrees away from the sun when it becomes in motion so when this saturn comes in 109 degrees it again starts in motion position secondly about jupiter so jupiter remains in retrogression for around 120 days it remains in a, a stationary position for 5 days around 245 degrees from sun it becomes retrograde and it becomes in motion position around 115 degrees for mars mars becomes retrograde for 80 days it becomes stationary for 3 days now when mars is 228 degrees away from sun it becomes retrograde and when it comes to 132 degrees that time it starts going into motion it becomes margi now about mercury so mercury is retrograde for around 24 days throughout its cycle so during this period it becomes stationary for a day or one and half day also many a times 
so when mercury is 14 to 20 degrees away from sun it becomes in retrograde mode and when this 17 to 19 degrees away from sun it becomes in motion position it becomes margi now about venus so venus is remaining retrograde for around 42 days it becomes stationary for a day again or two days also many a times full two and half days also many a times we see stationary but most of the times for two days it becomes stationary so when venus is 29 degrees away from the sun it becomes retrograde and when this venus comes to 24 degree again after retrogression 24 degrees it comes back that time again it starts becoming in motion in margi position see everything degreeically astronomically it is in the akash mandal now about neptune so neptune is around 157 degree for uh, sorry 157 days neptune becomes retrograde what about uranus so for 155 days uranus becomes retrograde and neptune uh, uranus and pluto for 160 days pluto becomes retrograde now for neptune every 14 years neptune changes its sign every 14 years every 7 years uranus changes its sign it become it remains in that sign for so many years at present pluto is uh, in the uh, sorry uranus is in the sign of aries at present it was in pisces so seven years it remains in one zodiac sign so this was all about the retrogression of planets as i as i mentioned about all the uh, uh, gatis that is all the motions as i said it is a vakri ati vakri gati it is a shigra shigra means very fast shigratar means faster than fast manda means slow manda tara means slower than slow sama means in same position as i said when sun is uh, second in or third from surya it is in same motion sun is also in same motion and any planet second or third to planet is also in same motion then kutilgati as i said they are fighting between each other and they want to go ahead so these all are the uh, motions uh, different names of the motions now lastly i would like to say you that never get afraid of retrograde planets retrograde planets are very good for us retrograde planets are to give us the proper uh, or to show us the mirror of our karmic cycle i would say that when retrogression takes place see in uh, mahatma gandhi's chart jupiter uh, is retrograde in mrs indira gandhi's chart jupiter is retrograde in uh, Cancer Lagna, Jupiter is in Taurus sign, it is retrograde. In uh, uh, Amita Bachanji's chart, Saturn and Mercury is retrograde. In Kumbha Lagna, in 8th house, he is having this position. He is not, means all these people. So, you see, again, I will give you Mr. Sharad Pawar, the great politician. He is having uh, debilitated Saturn in 6th house and so, Jupiter is also in 6th house, both the Jupiter and Saturn are retrogression position in Mr. Sharad Pawar's chart. He got all the political backup, all the, he is the best politician of India, of Maharashtra, but this retrogression of planet gave him 
everything name, fame, uh, wealth, everything. But this retrograde planet never made him to sit on prime minister post. But all these people without his advice, nobody is uh, taking any decision. This is also a truth. So, this is the result of retrogression of planet. Even if we see Baba Ramdev's chart, he is having Saturn retrograde in Taurus sign, Baba Ramdev. So, Saturn is retrograde, he is the best uh, uh, yoga teacher, he is the best uh, yogi in uh, yogasanas. We all are following his yogasans and uh, now uh, he is into Patanjali also. Patanjali is also one of the type of yoga shastra. Patanjali was the name of Rishi. Again, if we see uh, Subha, uh, Jagdish Chandra Bose, he had a Jupiter, Venus and Saturn retrograde in his chart. <coughs> Sorry. So, all these people, Mr. Kishore Kumar, one of the best playback singer in his era and still till now we hear all his songs. He had uh, Saturn in Sagittarius Lagna retrograde, the best results, best fruits he got in his life. <coughs> Sorry. So, we should not get afraid of retrogression. So, I hope many things are clear in your mind. I may take uh, part 2 of retrogression of planets. If needed, let me know in the comment box and thank you so very much for subscribing my channel and God bless you all. Namaste.